Hello everyone, it's Lindsay here from So Sweet Samuel. Today is the 17th of June and this is video number 41. <clears throat> You're very welcome to my channel. Thank you to all my returning viewers and thank you to my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you here. I have quite a lot of new subscribers so thank you very very much for joining me in my crafty chat. Um, you might want to pause the video here and grab yourself a cuppa because um, I've deleted lots of things on my phone, lots of rubbish. So this can be a nice long chat. And I'm surrounded by lots of crafty mayhem. There's going to be no order to this uh, video today. It's just going to be what I pick up. I'm going to try and do it in some order. Just moving things. <laughs> try and do it in some order, but not making any promises. Just winding up an end because I haven't sewn that end in, tucking that under there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I hope everybody's well. Um, I don't know about you, but summer has not arrived here. Um, last week we had some really cold days, um, really bitterly cold. So that wasn't very good. Today it's, uh, it's 18 degrees today. It's, uh, what time? It's just gone 11 o'clock. I meant to be on a bit earlier, but um, my mum was phoned a couple of times and different things. I've just seen something else I want to grab. Sorry. If I don't grab them, I'm going to forget them. <coughs> um, so, um, yeah, my mum's been on the phone a couple of times. So, um, oh, I've lost my train of thought. So, yeah, I meant to be on a bit earlier, but I'm here now. So, thank you as well to those of you who've been watching my floss tube. I'm really loving cross stitch as well. Really enjoying to do, doing that, but I'm going to keep my cross stitch chat to sort of cross my floss tube videos. So thank you if you are watching those as well. And thank you if you've subscribed for the floss tube and you're coming over here to have a little watch as well of what I'm doing over here. So first off, let me show you what I have been making. So started off with, <coughs> I had this ball of yarn from oh elderflower stitches now i've had this ball of yarn for a couple of years and it was brambly hedge inspired and it was the autumn colorway for brambly hedge now i've checked out elderflower stitches she doesn't have any yarn in her shop at the moment um she's pregnant at the moment so that's probably why she hasn't got any yarn she has got some beautiful project bags in her shop um i have got another skein of wool um that i'm desperate to knit up i've got so much wool i'm so naughty and i've just brought ali's um uh one of a kind lay family yarn that she's just dyed so that's beautiful i just bought that last night i know i'm naughty but what can I do? What can I say? I did. So anyway, so this is Elderflower Stitches and this is Brambley Hedge and this is Autumn Pickings, I think it was called. Oh my goodness me. It is the softest, beautifulest yarn I have ever knitted with. I'm absolutely kicking myself because I think I said to you in my last video or in one of my May vlogs, I thought I had subscribed to her advent calendar for Christmas. I've still got my fingers crossed that I paid for the first subscription, the first month or the first instalment. Nothing else has gone out of my bank. So I'm hoping that maybe the next instalment comes out later in the year and I'm still going to get the advent calendar, but I don't hold out a lot of hope. But somehow I paid for the first instalment and nothing else has gone out of my bank so I don't know if anybody else is getting the Elder Flower Stitches advent calendar if you are let me know whether all the instalments have gone out or whether I've lost that but seriously um, her yarn is the soft it, it was like knitting a cloud it is so soft so I've got this much left I did weigh it the other day but I can't remember but I know there's plenty there to to do another shorty pair and I cast these on as we were going away on holiday and I decided I wanted to do a pattern with this, which is unusual for me because I often just do vanilla socks. So this really slowed me down on holiday. But I did knit um, the Crunkled Socks by Kay Jones, the Bakery Bear. 
so I used 2.5 um, needles and I did 12 rounds of rib I then did three repeats of the pattern on the leg I then did a slip stitch heel I then just did the pattern obviously on the foot and plain on the sole and I think I did five rounds of that five repeats of that on the foot and then just the toe and there are two <clears throat> So that obviously slows me down quite considerably on holiday. I didn't finish these until the Wednesday of our holiday, so that really slows me down. But I think the pattern really, compl really complements the yarn beautifully because the yarn is called Autumn Pickings or Blackberry Pickings. I did say it correctly in my last video. I think this looks like blackberries, looks like berries. So that is just the most beautiful sock pattern. Let me bring it closer to you. So this is the crunkled sock pattern by Kay Jones. It's a really simple, it's a 12 row repeat. It's a really simple um, pattern. And I can't wait to wear those, but I am. So far this year, every pair of socks I've knitted, I've just put away in a basket. And I'm gonna wait until maybe Christmas and get them all out at Christmas and wear them all, have new socks throughout December. I thought that might be quite nice. I haven't worn any of my new socks yet, but they are just beautiful. So I can't wait, but yeah, so I've got quite a lot of that left. So I can pair that with something else. There's lemons, mints, lilacs. So obviously lilac is the predominant color. So I might see if I've got a lilac mini. I'm just trying to think I should have if not, I think I'll probably have a lilac is the main colour. So I'll see if I've got a lilac mini and uh, knit a plain pair. But if you can get hold of an Elderflower Stitches yarn from um, Elderflower Stitches, uh, you will not regret it. And if you have got her advent calendar, you are in for a real treat because that is just gorgeous. Um, my next pair of socks now I can't remember yes I can my next pair of socks I cast on I literally cast these or no I didn't I literally wound the wall up half an hour before we left to go to the airport so this is called Easter Bonnet and this is by Green Lamykin Yarns and this was an Easter gift from Kay um, and I just really love the colours and I thought this was lovely and summery and it's just summer in a ball of wool. Lovely yellows and oranges and greens and peaches and pinks. So I just knit this pair because the other pair taken me so long to do. I just decided to do this pair perfectly plain. But again, I've got enough left. I could have a go at doing a pattern pair because it's quite poorly in places. You can see quite a lot of pools of colour. But exactly the same recipe again. 12, so two and a half millimetre needles. I have just bought myself a 2.25 because mum is saying they're a bit too big for her. 12 rows of rib, about 30 rounds on the leg, 30 or 40 rounds on the leg, slip stitch heel, and then 60 rounds for the leg, for the foot, and then a rapid decrease for the toe. So they are beautiful. And again, that yarn was beautiful. So that was by um, Green Lemmican Yarns. So that is stunning. And again, I have enough of this yarn. Sorry, I've got a cork coming in just to climb up. I have enough of that yarn to do another pair. And I could pair that with yellow. I could pair it with orange, cream. I think yellow is probably the predominant color in that pair. So I'll probably pair that with a yellow pair maybe do another shorty pair or maybe do a patterned pair but I do think that's beautiful as well and I, that is probably still available in the shop. Green Lamykin Yarns always has lots of yarn in her shop so that's my two finished objects. I have a pair of socks on the go. This is just, um, not just because it's lovely in its own right, this is just a West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, I don't think there was a colourway on it but I think it'd be quite clear. Oh, tangled round. Something. What am I tangled round? 
Tangle ground something in my bag. Oh, tangle ground. So, <clears throat> so it's not just because West Yorkshire spinners is beautiful yarn. So I've cast this on for a friend. This is a gift. So again, 12 rows of rib. I just did 30 rounds on the leg. Slip stitch heel. And now I'm doing my decreasing to go back up the foot. And this is living in the most beautiful bag that I quickly flashed at you before I went away on holiday. My beautiful bag from Jeanette from Crafty Clicks. And this is very Kath Kids to me, so I just had to have it. This went on holiday with me, like my bag from Lily and the Bee. But this went on holiday with my sock knitting. And if you follow me on Instagram, this featured in lots of photos of my socks and different things. And this was stuffed with my sock knitting on holiday. So this is from Crafty Clegs. Um, Jeanette's bags, I think, are always sort of one of a kind. Um, she has the fabric, she makes what she can make from it. Then that's it, gone. I think sometimes she can repeat fabric, but not always. But this is just beautiful. So... Jeanette has a gorgeous shop called Crafty Clegs where you can get project bags and knitting notions and all different things. So fancy treating yourself to a beautiful bag that's lined with spotty material in this file. And then living in here is my next cast on, which is from, oh, I don't know where, you know where this is from because I've, I knitted my mum a couple of socks for from this yarn did I said I'd never knitted myself anything so you know where this is from giddy yarns and this is something blackberry so I can't wait to knit that as well so yeah lots and lots of socks on the go but I'm going to finish this pair then I've got to finish Mark's pair he's only got one half a sock so I'll finish that for Mark Okay, um, just put those there for now. So another finished object I have. So as you know, the lovely Helen from uh, Helen's Mousy Makes is running a mouse along. So I made this super cute little mouse. She stands at about six inches and she is a pattern from a Corinne Lapierre book and it's called Felt Animals. And there are about five different animal families in this book. So I chose the mouse family because my friend Kay brought me a little doll's house from Hobbycraft for my birthday. So this mouse is intending to live in the doll's house. And although she only stands at six inches tall, she's a little bit too big for the doll's house. So I was thinking of evicting her and I know my mum wants to have her anyway or wants one the same. So... Um, but then this morning, some, yesterday, I bought some furniture and bits from um, an online website. And Samuel yesterday was setting up the doll's house with all the furniture. And this morning I came down and he had her sat at a little mini sewing machine and she was sewing away. Um, so I don't know if I can really evict her because although she's a bit squished, she's only squished in one couple of rooms. She's OK in the other room. She's OK in the upstairs room. So maybe she'll have to stay. So I made her a little dress as well, just a very simple dress made out of felt. I still need to put a little button on the back, but she's delightful. I showed her on my Instagram page as well, so you can see her on my Instagram. Um, on my Instagram? On my Instagram page, I took a picture of her in the garden, sitting there knitting um, with her little tin of celebration chocolates. So she's super cute. She was super easy to make, really nice to make as well. So it was my first entry for... Helen's Mouse Salon. So you've still got time to enter Helen's Mouse Salon if you want to enter that. So she's mouse number two, one. Mouse number two is Wilhelmina Mouse from Cool Crafting. So from one extreme to the other, this is my second mouse. I'm useless at doing the ears on these characters. So her ears are useless. So this is my second mouse. Um, so she's got these lovely little yellow ears and yellow feet. I have a dress in this same material. I should have worn this dress actually, but it's not quite warm enough. And then I knitted her this lovely cute cardigan. Now this cardigan is at 
actually meant to be watermelon but I decided to make it to look like a lemon and she has whispered in my ear and told me she would like <coughs> like one to look like a strawberry so green pink and then red so talk about throw your orders around and this cardigan is set really quickly I would love to have this cardigan in an adult size and knit it for myself I think it'd be super cute so I've just got to sew in the ends and find some buttons I have got hundreds and hundreds of buttons I've got tins and tins of buttons but do I have sets of matching buttons no I do not I had hundreds of buttons from when I was teaching and the children used to like playing with buttons so I brought a whole load of buttons and when Samuel was a baby as well he used to like sorting out buttons and playing with buttons so I really need to go along to a haberdashery shop and treat myself to a whole load of buttons actually so this is entry number two to the mouse along as well Wilhelmina Mouse from Cool Crafting so you can buy her as a kit from Cool Crafting you can buy her as a remake kit or you can buy her in the book and then just buy the supplies to make her which is always the cheaper option because then you get five characters including Lena but she's lovely I haven't added her whiskers yet but she's super cute i do like her oh milo might be a nuisance in a minute because the fly has just come in so he might need to protect me from a fly so i'm quite excited to make this little cardigan as a um i might make it as a watermelon but also as a strawberry if you go back to last year last july time i did actually knit this you can get this as a free pattern on ravelry to make it for a baby newborn baby and um, i did make it as a newborn baby pattern as well so that's super cute but i'd love to make it for myself actually my next finish so this is a bit different well it's not different but i was digging around in the cupboard last week i'm just gonna sip my tea hold on so last week i decided to make myself a couple of project bags i made one for myself sorry that's milo chasing a fly i made one for myself if you watch my floss tube i had some vintage tray cloths so i made one from a vintage tray cloth and that will be a project bag for my uh, cross stitch and then I also made one from um, a fat quarter and it was um, I know I saw you and it was gardening themed or plant themed and then I was digging around and I found this <coughs> I know which is all but finished it's all bee themed <coughs> yes shush so I'm going to finish this and <coughs> turn this into a project bag as well so that's just a bit of red <coughs> to show you my shush. So I'm going to finish that off as well, make it into a project bag. And then I've also, this morning, my shush, just started. I've got one here, not even started. I've got this one here and I'm doing this in red work. So I've just started that this morning. My shush now, go and get a toy. Go and get a toy. Where's your toys? Where's your toys? So that's going to become a project bag. So hopefully next time you see me, it's upside down. Hopefully next time you see me, that will be a project bag. Milo, go in the garden. That'll be a project bag. It's a bit naughty. Um, oh, sorry. Look at me. Um, another work in progress. So I bought this quite a while ago from Milo from Jules from South Street Violet. I bought a kit to make a scissor keeper and a pin cushion. Let me just get something to my hand. Hold on. Sorry, my bum is here. So I bought this scissor keeper and pin cushion kit and it came with everything you needed to make this. So, so far I've sewn together all the hexes so I just now need to finish this. So it's all in a lovely box. So I'm just going to finish this off now. So hopefully again, hopefully next time you see me, not making any promises, but hopefully next time I do a video that will be done. The rustling of paper going on. Okay, I'm just going to finish my tea because it's nearly gone cold. Acquisitions. So I've had the next instalment from um, Beehive Yarn, 
so this must be the May Club and and this is oh it's gone oh, it was, oh this is Art Deco it's right there in front of me it's Art Deco so it's very greeny as you can see but I thought this might make nice socks for Christmas being very green that might be quite pretty for Christmas and obviously it's got the sparkle on it so that's lovely so it's 75% superwash merino 25% nylon and 5% stellina and as you know I bought this club as my advent but I bought four skeins so I'm not sure if that'll be a fade or just four different ones I know Paula from Stitch by Mrs D had it last year and it was mm, not quite a fade but you could knit a jumper with it because it was four shades of pinkish so it was very pretty so I've got that one and then the lovely Sharon from SCR 1TNO was having a D stash and she was D stash in this West Green Loft yarns and I love her yarn I've had a couple from her um, and she was de-stashing this for about £14, including, well, £12, I think, and then postage on top. And this is beautiful. This is a July yarn club, so it must be, well, obviously not this year, but it's lovely. I have had her yarn before. It's beautiful. Um, <clears throat> she's based up in Tain in the Highlands of Scotland, about 10 miles from where my friend lives and where I used to live. So it's nice that I sort of know exactly where she's based. But this is lovely. This would sort of be my mother-in-law's colours if I felt like knitting her another pair of socks. Or my friend's colours, actually. My friend Savannah would like those colours. Okay, a bit more tea, and then I'm done with the tea. So, actually, wait there. Oh, oh yeah hold on <laughs> bear with no I can't get out it's too buried forget that I found a, a shawl I'd been knitting and it was knit in now I've no idea whose yarn it was but it was knit the the colorway was called flower fairies and I loved flower fairies when I was little oh, I absolutely loved it actually it reminds me my friend sent me a cross stitch of flower fairy I've left it in the kitchen so I'll show that to you on my floss tube but this yarn was called flower fairies excuse me and I started knitting a shawl in it, but then I got, and then I put it down and I don't know where I am in this shawl. And I'm not really a shawl person, so I don't know whether to undo this and just make it to socks. And I probably, I know I wear socks more. I mean, I was wearing socks last week, it was so cold. Okay, work's in progress. So I showed my socks I'm knitting. I'm also knitting, carrying on the whole mouse theme. I'm going to be overrun with mice. I'm knitting, have I shown you this? I don't think I have. I'm knitting this from this book, uh, Knitted Animal Friends. I'm knitting Dorothy the mouse. Now it should be knit out of sheepies. I'm not knitting it out of sheepies. I costed it up on... Um, wool warehouse and it would have been just too much just for a toy it was too expensive I couldn't justify that oh, I can't find your body parts oh dear it's never good when you lose your body parts is it it's never a good move oh dear what have I done with your body parts I have one body part I have an, an ear I have one ear I know I have a head and I have another ear I don't know, I was about to... Oh, hang on. Here's a head. Was I presume that's her little nose. I know I have another ear because I know I was about to start her body. So I have made a little start on her. And I'm just knitting that out of um, Stylecraft Special DK. So <clears throat> made a start on that. So I will continue on that. So there my work's in progress. Obviously, I've got other things, but we won't mention those today. Now, on Saturday, I went to London with my friends, or two of my friends, and we went to London, and we went to Covent Garden, and we saw a show called The Choir of Men. Um, if you want to see a really good, cheap show, 
highly recommend you go and see that show. It's about £33 for a ticket. You is set, it's in a tiny, tiny theatre in Covent Garden and you feel like you're, well, you are part of the show. If you're sat downstairs, you're part of the show and it, you feel like you're in a pub. Really good show, fantastic. But we went into Covent Garden, into the undercover part, and there was a toy shop there called Pollock's Toy Shop. Now, I follow a lady on Instagram who decorates the windows for Pollock's Toy Shop. And so I knew about this shop, so I wanted to go in there. And I went in there and I bought myself a Malik mouse. I'll show you that another day. But I also bought myself this. It's called Miss Ella Prudence the Deer and it's by Miss Ella's Bunnyville Collection, copyright Ella Goodwin and it's fabric, a fabric panel that you cut out and stuff, or cut out, sew and stuff and you make this beautiful toy. Um, so I'm going to have a go at making that very soon. I'm really excited to make that. Do you want to see my mouse? Hold on. Oops. She's not looking at that. Promise me you won't tell my mum now. So I haven't got any May leg mice, but I thought birthday money. So it comes in a little mouse box. A little mouse box? A little matchbox right there. Okay, and it's got May leg. Am I holding up the right way? It's got May leg written on the back. I don't know why I'm whispering, Mum's not here. But don't tell her. And then if I open it up, oh, there's a little sleeping mouse inside. And there's the mouse. Why am I whispering? One side, the mouse is awake. And then I'm turning over and he's asleep. I just love him. He's got a little sleeping bag to sleep in. <laughs> so I bought him as well from Pollock's toy shop. Anyway, uh, plans. Oh yeah, so also Gemma from Midnight Diary. She made me a little mini project bag. She's cross-stitched this design. So if you go to her uh, YouTube channel, you'll see her making this. So she's cross stitch this design, done a little bit of piecing around the edge and made this little project bag for me. And then my plans. So I'm going to do Christmas in July. However, on Thursday, I'm going into a hospital to have um, a diagnostic injections into the back of my head for my pain. Bit of a waste of time because these injections will only like if they work they will only work for maybe 48 hours so i then go back onto the waiting list to decide whether they want to burn or freeze the nerve to see if they can give me some relief from my pain so i'll be back on the waiting list they're probably waiting another three or four years to have this done i don't know so i'm having that done on thursday then we are going away at the end of well, when Sammy breaks up from school, he breaks up on the Friday and we're going to Yorkshire on the Saturday. So that's mid-July. So I want to do Christmas in July. Um, I know I'll only be able to do every other day just because of family commitments, life, everything, health, blah, blah, blah. So I was thinking, shall I start Christmas in July early? Shall I start maybe next week? Um, because I get very excited about Christmas anyway, and Christmas in July is no different. So shall we start Christmas in July next week? And then I can, but then I was also thinking, I've got a lot of things to make for Christmas. So I'm thinking of doing Christmas throughout the whole of the summer. Think myself cool. Not that it's got hot yet, but I might do Christmas throughout the whole of the summer. Everything I make and do will be Christmas themed, either Christmas projects or Christmas gifts throughout the whole of the summer. So who fancies that? We'll start Christmas in July next week and I'll come and see you every couple of days and show you what I'm making, what I'm doing. So I'll show you a couple of things that I have got planned already. 
So I want to make these little red work hanging decorations. These are from Dandelion Designs. I want to make those. They'll be super quick and easy to make. I want to make Rupert an advent calendar. So I've got this one to make. So I'm going to get this cut out maybe tomorrow. Now it's a bit late now today to start something. So maybe tomorrow I might start that. I've got this to make. This is from Thimblewood Crafts. I've got this little gingerbread house to make and I've got all the felt to make that. I bought the felt from Cool Crafting. And also I want to make Rupert a Christmas jumper and I'm thinking of making him this cute little uh, gingerbread man jumper. And this is from, this is, say recent, it's not recent because it's Christmas. But this was from Knit Now, and I'm sure that was this year's Knit Now. It was, but I can't see a date on there, and I haven't brought the magazine in with me, or have I? It might be over there on the table. If anybody's interested, I can find out which issue this is from. But I'm thinking of doing this as well. And I know I've got red yarn somewhere, but I've just got to find it. I thought it was under the stairs, but I can't see it under the stairs. So those are my plans. With this advent calendar, I normally sew them with sparkly silver thread but i was thinking of sewing it with sorry close up of my chin i was thinking of sewing it with this marrakesh thread that kate from the last homely home sews because it's got every color in there so those are my plans so we're going away this weekend um because it's our wedding anniversary next wednesday we'll have been married 20 years so we're just going away for a few nights with Samuel in the caravan. So I won't take this with me probably, but I might get this prepared this week. Um, I've got to have something small and portable to take into hospital with me on Thursday, um, just to do while I'm waiting, because I dare say I won't be the first one called down. I've got to be in there for one o'clock, but highly unlikely I'll be the first one called down. Um, I've got that Christmas stitchery to do as well that I just showed you the blank one but I have made a good start on that this morning. I've got some crocheting, I've got my, I found my Paddington upstairs. Oh I didn't show you my shawl did I? My crochet shawl, do you want to see that quickly? So you know I undid that ball of wool, that, that advent ball of wool. I've been crocheting that up. So this was my advent calendar 2020 two from Green Lamykin Yarns and I didn't want it how I'd knitted it so I'm doing a granny triangle wrap so that's how far I've got so I'm holding the advent calendar yarn double with some floof just from Hobbycraft so I just pick that up every now and again and just do some of that and I'm also still still I haven't done any for ages still trying to do this Paddington but I brought that down with me today because I want to do some of that today. That's what I've done so far. But I've got plenty of yarn for this. So if this turns out bigger than it's meant to be, it doesn't matter. That's what I keep trying to tell myself. It doesn't matter. Nobody's getting hurt in the process and I'm having fun. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. If you've survived this long, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you again for my new subscribers. Thank you for returning subscribers. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I do read them all and heart them all. I try to reply to them all, but sometimes I just don't always have time what with everything else I have to sort of do. But please be assured I love reading all your comments. You know, they make me feel very loved and very special. So thank you all very, very much. Um, I'm going to go and hang out my washing now. Um, Maybe have some lunch in a minute. So thank you very much. And I might do a floss tube again this week. If not, I'll do a floss tube next week. Um, but I will be back next week with Christmas in July. I have to find a Christmas mug for my cup of tea. <laughs> okay, take care everybody. And I'll see you really, really soon. Bye for now. Bye.